get to the oven, set it for, how long you cook, do you know how long you make a, uh, like a gingerbread man or cake? How long do you make a cake for? How long do you put it in normally? 35 minutes. 35, exactly, it was 30, oh my God. It was 35 minutes, it, it was 35 minutes perfectly. And it came out and the front door of the oven opened up and guess what came out? <laughs> the cookie boy came out and he said, oh, oh, it's hot in there. So hot that I got to run. I'm not the toy, don't play with me. I'm the cookie boy. I'm too sweet to eat. I'm not the toy, don't play with me. I'm the cookie boy. And then he made up his own little rap because he had a lot of sugar and a lot of energy. When you get a lot of sugar, you get a lot of energy. And I guess you just have to rap when you got that much sugar in you. So he said, I'm too slick for a treat, too sweet to eat. You can't catch me, it's a skip to the beat. Then he ran out of the house into the street. The little girl chased after her new brother. <laughs> oh, cookie. Oh, cookie boy. But she couldn't catch the cookie boy. So, the cookie boy was running down the street. Where do you think he went? Where do you think the cookie boy would go? Where do you think he went? If you, the cookie boy jumped out of the oven, fresh, nice and hot. He went outside and he's running away. Where's he gonna go? He goes to the store. And what would, I mean, what would any kid do when they go to the store? They would go get what? Fishies, candy. And it's kind of weird, he's a, he is candy and he's eating candy. Hmm, parents, sounds like cannibalism. Anyway. <laughs> But he went in the store, he had some candy, he came out, he got more sugar, and he starts walking down the street like this. He's walking down the street and he sees a pit bull in the yard. Now, if you see a pit bull, what will you do? Would you say, hi, pit bull, wake up. Hey, pit bull. Roo, no. roo, 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 pit bull. No, no you no. wouldn't do that, right? But the cookie boy wasn't, he was a little crazy. So he said, hey, hey, dog. Hey, whoa, 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 hey dog, wake up! And the dog woke up and said, wake up, wake up for what? Wake up dog, I bet you can't catch me. The dog said, roof, and thought maybe the cookie boy was a new kind of futuristic <coughs> dog treat. He ran after the cookie boy, roof, 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 roof. And the cookie boy was like, didn't even break a sweat. He's looking at him, he's running. <laughs> and the dogs, roo, 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 because pit bulls run really fast. Don't do this. If you see a pit bull in the yard, do not tell it to come chase you or wake up. Leave the pit bull alone. Lesson, parents, lesson. <laughs> okay, so, silly dog, Cookie Boy said, silly dog, you can't catch me. I'm not to treat, I'm not to toy. You can't catch me, I'm a cookie boy. And he did just like, he did dance just like that, just like that. He said, I'm not to treat, I'm not to toy. You can't catch me, I'm a cookie boy. And the cookie boy laughed <laughs> as he was running away <laughs> and dancing at the same time. <laughs> dance at the same time, <laughs> dance at the same time, right? And the dog, after a while, what do you think the dog did? Aroo, aroo. Oh, oh. It was like Scooby Doo. <laughs> no ginger snap for me. No Cookie Boy. And he gave up. Now soon, Cookie Boy was running all day long. And let's say he lived in Providence, Rhode Island. If you're running in Providence, and let's say you're going down 95 and you keep running, eventually you're going to come to what? You're going to get to another place. You're not going to be in the city anymore. So that's what he did. He ran and ran and came to the end of town, the end of Rhode Island, where he saw a town where people were buying desserts by the pound. He ran to the door and jumped on the counter and started to sing his favorite song. Hey! Everybody, look at me! I'm a cookie boy! I'm too sweet to eat, too nice for a tour. You can't catch me, I'm the cookie boy! Right? I'm sweeter than all the candies and treats in lane five. I'm the new treat, won't you find out why? Immediately, a baker, I think it was, it was, at, it was at Stop and Shop. It was a baker at Stop and Shop. You know, one of the old bakers, Italian bakers, can really cook really fast, but you don't think he's that fast until so he jumped over the counter. Jumped over the counter, he said, yeah. oh. He didn't even say a word, he looked, was like, oh. 
a news reach. Jumped over the counter. Oh! Uh, started running with a with a butcher butcher knife. Don't play with knives, kids. Lesson. Parents lesson. Had a butcher knife in his hand and started running after the cookie boy. He chased him down each aisle. Ran, chased the cookie boy all over the store. Cookie boy went through lanes and then out the door. And then, you know what the cookie boy does. He gotta sing his song. He said, you guys are too slow. Don't run no more. You know, this town is a bar. I'm leaving this hood to see what's next to the store. Cause I'm the cookie boy. I'm too sweet to eat, too nice for joy. You can't catch me, I'm the cookie boy. And then he walked down the highway for an hour. Now if you walk down the highway for an hour, well in a car, you could be in, if, if you go south, you wouldn't be, you'd be in Connecticut, lesson kids. If you go north, an hour you would be in Boston or Massachusetts. But he's walking, so even though he's really fast, an hour walking and running doesn't equal the same as car. Math, parents, lesson, there's math. Okay, <laughs> so. He walked down the highway for an hour to the next town until he read a sign. It said, Welcome to Veganville, the healthy state. Cookie Boy thought, This is a fun place. While walking, he saw an alleyway to some cool cats. He skipped over to where they were at and then kicked his rat. Catch me! I'm sweeter than all that candy. Too slick for a treat, too sweet to eat. You can't catch me as a skip to the feet. The alley cat said, Sorry, cookie boy. But you're so sweet. You might give us a cavity. So we don't need that kind of treat. The cookie boy was confused and didn't know what to do. He he never he was never at a place where people didn't want him and didn't want to chase him and catch him and have him as their perfect midnight sneak secret snack. So the, the Veganville, they only ate vegetables, right? The cookie boy was confused, didn't know what to do. He said, he said, kids, I thought all kids like candy. Don't all kids like candy? You like candy, right? How about you, you like candy too? Well, not in, in Veganville, nobody likes candy. Nobody likes candy in Veganville. It's a very healthy, strange place. <laughs> Okay. There was so. He continued to walk. He left the alleyway with the cats. He was very, very, very sad. Nobody wants to eat me. I thought I was special. I'm a cookie boy. I'm too sweet to eat, too nice for a toy. They don't want to catch me. Don't they know I'm the cookie boy? And he was so frustrated. And he continued to walk down the street and he came to, where are we right now? Peace Street, it was a park. He came to, it wasn't Peace Street Park, but it was a park. He came to a park and you know who's at parks? Mostly little, little kids running around and playing. Now he's like, there's no way. There's no way the kids are not gonna wanna <coughs> chase and eat me, no way. So we went over to the kids and he said, <coughs> got his confidence back. Cause kids love cookies and kids love sugar. And he said, I'm full of sugar. He said, hey kids, hi to the little kids. I'm the cookie boy, I bet you can't catch me. And you gotta be careful. Some kids are really fast, I'll surprise you. You can't just do that to any kid. You might get one fast little kid to catch you and you'll be, their treat, but anyway. Hey kids, I'm a cookie boy. I'm sweeter than any candy. Too slick for a tree to a rock to the beat. You can't catch me, as a skip to the beat. And guess what the kids said? Now we're in Veganville where they like vegetables, they don't like candy. What do you think the kids said? Did they say, yes, we love you, cookie boy? Or they, what did they say? They said, ew, ew, we don't eat candy and cookies. We, ew, we don't eat candy, we are vegan. We eat healthy food and vegetables. Then they immediately offered the cookie boy here. Here cookie boy, here's an apple. The cookie boy said, I don't eat natural sugar. I made of pure raw sugar. 
I don't eat, why would I eat natural sugar? That's disgusting. That's what he's, he does his special words for that. So, they try to give him grapes, he said no. They try to give him apples, he said no. They try to give him oranges, he said no. They try to give him bananas, and what do you think he said? No, I don't want no bananas, I don't want no apples, I don't want no fruit, I don't want no vegetables. I just want you to chase me and let me do my song. Cookie Boy walked the town, he left the park, he was sad. He said, forget this, I'm going back home where people will like me. And he decided to go back to the town where he was loved and chased and admired. He walked down the, back down the highway for an hour to Coventry, Rhode Island and went to meet his maker. The little third grade girl was so happy to see him. Cookie Boy said, I'm sorry for running away. And then he pulled a Skittle off his chest and gave it to her. The little girl and Cookie Boy sat down to eat and had a wonderful life together. And he never did run away again. The end. Thank you. about ourselves because people don't say it every single day they do not know how much they actually love themselves so what I want to hear everybody say is I love myself I love myself I am so smart I am so smart I am so beautiful I am so beautiful I feel good inside and out I feel good inside and out. I don't know. I don't believe that one. I feel good inside and out. I feel good inside and out. Oh, yeah. I heard that one. Give me one. What, what's the good one you can say about yourself? Go ahead. I am special. I am special. I am special. my horse over here playing on the chariots and I, I caught a mean rog if you know what a, I mean. It was a yes or no question. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me put Sir Johnstone Kintley back in his box. <laughs> yeah, put him away. Oh, hey, hey you know, what's going on? Hey, hey, how are you doing? How are you? So, I wanted to let everybody know this is Eunice Kudus. Eunice Kudus. Habiba Kudus. Habiba Kudus. Habiba Kudus. <laughs> oh, and I'm vegan, by the way. That's where that other story is. Oh, now you get it now, right? <laughs> Just for you. Okay. All right. The true color. Some of you might know this song. It was from the 80s by Cindy Lauper. Don't do the chorus. Give me a clap, everybody. You make the sad eyes. Don't be discouraged, so I realize it's hard to take courage in a world full of people. You can lose sight of it all in the darkness inside. You can make you feel so 
Parents will only remember this. Remember when Bill Cosby had that show and he had the pen and went, <laughs> and I make that noise, it's kind of what this is. I saw I grew up loving Bill Cosby, but that's another story. <laughs> Guess you're gonna have to explain that to the kids. Message. I'm gonna take over the taping. My friend Kayla is gonna come up and do a story that she loves, and I asked her to drive very, very far. She was actually the cookie boy, was is her little brother. There we go. Much better. What? <laughs> I'll take over. It's your turn. You're up. Oh, 